Have you ever tried to push a heavy cabinet but it wouldn't move at all? Or play tag of war with your friends and the rope only moves when one side pulls stronger? Let's find out what's really happening by learning about balance and unbalanced forces. Ugh, amazing! This is Sir Bass of Sir Bass TV, and I will be your guide in exploring the world of science. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment. Hashtag Agamazing. Let's go! Before we talk about balance and unbalanced forces, let's first understand what a force is. A force is a push or pull that can change the motion or shape of an object. It always involves two objects one that exerts the force and another that receives the force. For example, when you kick a ball, your foot exerts the force and the ball receives it. When you press a key on your keyboard, your finger exerts the force and the key receives it. So basically, a force happens whenever one object pushes or pulls another. It is what makes things move, stop, or change direction. Now that we know what force is, here's something interesting. Forces don't usually act alone. In real life, two or more forces act on the same object at the same time. When that happens, the forces can either balance each other or not balance each other. And that's where we get the two main kind of forces, balance forces and unbalanced forces. Balance forces occur when two or more forces acting on an object are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, resulting in a net force of zero or zero newton. But what does that really mean? It means that all the pushes and pulls acting on an object cancel each other out, so the object stays in its current state of motion either at rest or moving at a constant velocity. Imagine you are pushing a heavy cabinet with all your strength, but it still does not move. Why? Because the force of your push is equal to the opposing frictional force between the cabinet and the floor. Let's say you push the cabinet to the right with a force of 50 newtons. At the same time, the floor pushes back with an equal 50 newtons of frictional force to the left. Since these two forces are equal and opposite, they cancel each other out. So net force equals 50 newtons minus 50 newtons, which gives us 0 newtons. And when the net force is 0, there's no change in motion. The cabinet stays still. That's a perfect example of balanced forces keeping an object at rest. Now, picture two teams playing tag of war. Team A pulls the rope to the left with a force of 100 newton, and Team B pulls to the right with the same 100 newton. Since both teams are pulling with equal force but in opposite directions, the net force is zero. That means the rope won't move at all. It just stays right in the middle. No one wins here because both sides are equally strong. Another example is book on a table. A book rests quietly on a table. Gravity pulls it downward but the table pushes upward with an equal force. Since these two forces are equal and opposite, they balance each other. That's why the book doesn't move. It is perfectly still under balanced forces. Now, what happens when the forces are not equal? That's when we get unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces occur when the forces acting on an object are not equal in magnitude or direction, resulting in a non-zero net force. This causes the object to change its motion. It can start moving, speed up, slow down, stop, or change direction. Let us go back to that heavy cabinet. You push the cabinet harder this time, applying 80 newtons of force to the right, 
but friction only pushes back with 15 newtons to the left. Now, net force equals 80 newtons minus 50 newtons, that's 30 newtons to the right. Since there is an unbalanced force, the cabinet starts to move. In another round of tag of war, Team A pulls with 120 newton, and Team B pulls with 100 newton. So net force equals 120 newtons minus 100 newtons, which is 20 newtons to the right. The rope finally moves toward Team A, and the stronger side wins. That's what happens when forces become unbalanced. When you kick a soccer ball, your foot gives a strong push. That is an unbalanced force that makes the ball roll and speed up. But after a while, friction from the ground and air resistance push back on it, slowing down little by little until it finally stops. Balance and unbalanced forces are happening everywhere, whether you are walking, driving, riding, or even just standing still. Understanding them help us explain how motion works, from why objects stay still to why rockets blast off into space. In summary, when we talk about balance forces, there is no change in motion. The object either stays still or moves at a constant speed. But when the forces become unbalanced, the motion changes. That means the object can speed up, slow down, or even change direction. So the next time you push, pull, or kick something, remember this. It is not just about how strong you are. It is about whether the forces are balanced or unbalanced. Because that's what really decides if things stay still or start to move. This is Sir Bass of Sir Bass TV saying, keep asking, keep exploring, and stay amazing. See you in the next lesson.